Okay, so on this one, uh, we have the tropical island. What we're gonna do first is on the top there, we have a uh, triad quiz. So we're gonna practice some of those triads. On the first one, you have the F sharp uh, major chord there. Boom. Next one, G, G major chord. We're gonna move up, A minor on that guy, D sharp minor, E minor, and then the last one is B major. So we really wanna make sure that we know these chords pretty well. Uh, we have um, a lot of eighth notes here and a lot of transitions back and forth between these chords. So we really want to make sure that we know these chords pretty well. So when you're first starting, hold these for four beats. One, two, three, four. 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 Then what we're going to do, we should pri uh, let's shorten these. So instead of holding for four beats, we're going to hold for two beats on these guys. So one, two, one, two, one. Just holding for one beat. Okay, that's it. So this one, it says lazy and relaxed. We're going to imagine that we're kind of on a tropical island and the kind of the palm trees are just rolling around, very nice, relaxed. Uh, we have like maybe a nice big ocean that's in front of us. Um, so on the first one, left hand's gonna be in G position. Make sure we remember that G position. And then we're gonna go up uh, to the F sharp major chord, and then G. So on this one, right hand, you have um, uh, an F sharp major chord. The one, two, four, so one, three, five is totally fine. And then we're gonna go to uh, D sharp, D sharp major chord. I'm sorry, D sharp minor, and then E minor chord. So on these ones, we have this. soft on these uh, it clearly indicates here that we have a piano at the end as well as a diminuendo so they really want us to end nice and soft on these ones just kind of nice relaxed down you can sink just softly into the keys to kind of create that soft effect and then we're going to do that again now going to C position so remember ending soft as well on this one we're going to measure five left hand goes down so left hand is going to be in the c position right hand we're going to have that b major chord and then like a c major chord we're also noticing on that one you have a f uh, natural on that one so even though we have an f sharp in the key signature we're going to make sure we play that natural and come down so again from five So next page, we're returning back to our left hand G position. Right hand is that uh, F sharp uh, chord there. On this one, measure nine, we have the D major chords. So remembering the F sharp now, back in the key signature. Left hand, we have the, like these chromatics. So we're carrying that. The left hand should carry the melody. Uh, the right hand is kind of just in the background there. Returning back to our main theme here. Okay, on 13, we have this kind of new technique here. The right hand is going to play all of the black keys. The left hand is going to play the white keys. So these are really overlapping pretty closely. We have just half steps here on all these guys. So. Um, we have an F sharp uh, major chord as well as a G major. Um, so on these ones, a good technical exercise that you can try is kind of just making these motions. You can go up to the next octave, go up to the next octave. So when we're playing these, you have a one, two, and three, and four, and one, two. Also, making sure we end softly on those. And that's it. So we'll over with this one really quick.